What's actually in a baghouse style dust collector and how does it work? Today we'll give you an overview of the anatomy of a baghouse system. Baghouses come in a variety of types and shapes, but they all work in much the same way to remove particulates from the air. Let's take a look at some of the components found in every baghouse. This particular schematic shows a tube jet baghouse designed for top bag replacement. Incoming dust laden air is drawn up through the baghouse by fan power. Dirty air is either pushed into the baghouse by a forced draft fan at the inlet in a positive system or pulled from the baghouse by an induced draft fan at the outlet in a negative system. Underneath the head or latch, there's a clean air plenum. Inside the baghouse, a series of bags supported by metal cages are suspended from the tube sheet. These filter bags, which resemble 8 to 12 foot long tube socks, are fitted over the cages. Filter bag media is matched to specific application conditions and the type of dust they are designed to collect. Unfiltered air enters the baghouse in the open cavity that surrounds the rows of bags. Next, it passes through the filter bags, leaving behind a layer of particulates on the exterior surface of the bags. The clean air then continues downstream, either to the stack or into process recirculation. To keep the baghouse operating efficiently, dust must be removed from the filter bags periodically using a pulse jet cleaning system. Depending on the type of system, a pulse cleaning cycle can be activated on a continuously timed sequence or when a preset differential pressure is reached that indicates dust must be removed from the collector, known as on-demand cleaning. Many pulse jet cleaning systems employ a right angle body diaphragm valve like the one in this illustration. An internal diaphragm controls how much air passes through the valve. Creating a pressure imbalance inside the diaphragm valve flexes the diaphragm, allowing the air from the compressed air manifold to pass through the pulse pipe into the dust collector to start cleaning. During pulse jet cleaning, a reverse flow of clean compressed air puffs a row of bags outwards, dislodging the dust cake on each bag surface. The dislodged dust drops into hoppers located beneath the bags. Hoppers are available in either pyramidal or trough designs. Baghouses can be equipped with various types of discharge equipment to remove dust from the hopper. For example, rotary airlock valves or slide gates are typically used with pyramidal hoppers. Trough hoppers are typically equipped with screw conveyors coupled with rotary airlocks. At Sly, we engineer and build tube jet baghouse dust collectors in two basic shapes, square and cylindrical. Our square tube jet baghouses can be configured to allow replacing the filter bags from the top through a top hatch or through a walk-in clean air plenum. When there's limited headroom, they also can be configured for bag replacement from the side or bottom. Similarly, our cylindrical tube jet baghouse design features a standard lift-off head for replacing filter bags from the top. Other top bag replacement options include a David arm, a walk-in plenum, or top hatches. This cylindrical bag houses can also be configured for bag removal from the side or bottom. Well, that wraps up our bag house anatomy lesson. If you'd like more information on the kinds of bag houses Sly Engineers builds and services, visit slyinc.com to download a copy of our tube jet dust collector application guide. Thanks for listening.